here with Congressman Paul Kanjorski. What did you think of the president today? I thought he did an excellent job. Uh, you know, and it's not always easy or good for a president to, to make speeches when people are feeling bad. But this is a particularly wise thing to do for this president because I don't care what side of the fence you're on politically. He gives you hope and he, and he displays depth of understanding and problems. So I think he reassures the population. And what he's doing now is getting a lot of input from a lot of people to see what we can do in the next uh, month or six weeks to put a second stimulus package together, not nearly as large as the last one, but sufficiently to immediately stimulate and carry the ball going. Today's news on unemployment was exceptionally important. I think it's going to cause a psychological uplift, not only for the general population, but for the business community to say, you know, now's the time to make the investment, make the enlargement, hire the people. So we're going to find and feel that an uptake is occurring. I think that's very healthy. So I'm, I'm much more optimistic, quite frankly, uh, than I even was last week. I, th I think uh, this is a good spirited delivery to a town like Allentown. He's gone right to the roots of the, who he should talk to, and he's going to come away with some very concrete programs. And of course, you've had a lot of input, especially on the uh, regulatory and, and Wall yeah. Street. Uh, what do you think of this new regulatory agency? I know you're pushing it. Uh, for the, uh, you mean the creation of the super regulator yes. council? Well, that's part of my bill. Uh, I, I'm very much grateful. We've completed our work at the committee level, and next week we're going to the full house to pass the bill. I think it's probably, well, without a doubt, it's the, the most important, extensive regulatory reform in 80 years. So uh, it's uh, and, 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 and interesting, right to the question of one of the ladies there, uh, are we going to be doing anything to see that this doesn't happen again? And the president's answer probably should have been directly, you bet your life because that's what we're doing. It's going, to, it's going to be rather remarkable. The one area I've spent a lot of time just in the last couple of weeks on is preparing and doing the, the statutory law on preventing uh, entities, financial entities, from getting too large to fail. We have to, we have to take away the backstop that the taxpayers are going to ride to the rescue of irresponsible policies on financial institutions. In order to do that, we've had to increase the regulatory authority and we've done that in this new legislation. Now we have to make sure that we pass the legislation and we get the regulators to implement it. If we do, we, we should be off to a pretty good start in preventing this uh, tremendous storm that hit us a year ago. In terms of uh, news came out recently about uh, some revisions to the Mortgage Act uh, yeah. program helping people renegotiate. The problem seems to be with the ser mortgage servicing companies. How are we really going to break that logjam for homeowners? Extremely difficult. Uh, you know, they, they have not been as cooperative in many instances as they should be. We're dealing with a lot of people. We're finding 50% of the people that are facing foreclosure will not come forward and deal. They're just either turned off or, or they feel they aren't adequate to handle the situation. So it's not going to be easy. It's a it's a one-by-one a -one custom situation, which takes a lot of time. The, the simplest way to get to solving that problem is great jobs, because there are a lot of people that are in the foreclosure stage that are only there because they don't have a job. If we get them back to work and get them earning money, they'll be okay. Then there's a lot of people that shouldn't have been in housing, and we've got to find a way to let them get out of their burden as simply and as fast as we can and get those homes recirculated and that we should do. Uh, but it's not going to be, none of this is easy. It took us 10, 15 years to get into the problem. It's going to take us a lot more than just six months to get out of it. Congressman, in the Poconos, Paul Matthews, in the Poconos, of course, people losing jobs, they don't pull the rate there, I think is...